Hello judges, my name is Lucas and I'm a senior at Richard Montgomery High School. My name is Catherine and I am a sophomore at Winston Churchill High School. My name is Siju and I'm also a sophomore at Churchill. My name is Cyrus and I'm a junior at Richard Montgomery. My name is Andrew and I'm also a junior at Richard Montgomery. We are team 6417 Blue Crew out of Rockville, Maryland. This team has been competing for over eight years now, so we have a long legacy that we are trying to uphold. Catherine, why don't you start us off? Thanks, Lucas. When we started the season off, we decided very quickly what we wanted our robot to be able to accomplish. We wanted to have a very versatile robot that can score on any level, any side, and go everywhere easily. Superior mobility was a key aspect of this year's competition, as to score high, you must be, be efficient and fast. Because of this, we decided to go for a mechanum wheel drivetrain, with the added bonus of both high clearance and thin profile. As you can see, our robot lies within 12 inches, allowing us to traverse very easily over and around the barriers through the gap between the barrier and the wall, thus ensuring that we would always be able to score points. The next key aspect of the robot is our arm. We chose to use an external scoring system for this year as the limitation of holding one piece of freight at a time uh, severely limits the efficiency of complex internal systems. We had plenty of experience like arms uh, like this in past years, so we were extremely confident that we could get it to work how we wanted it to very early on. The orientation of the arm on the robot allows it to have a standardized picking up position, um, as well as leaving no extremities on the outside of the robot, so when we're driving around, we won't get caught anywhere. Once a piece of freight is picked up, the arm rotates around the robot and has three preset positions to drop freight on any one of the three levels on the team hub, as well as the, ship, the shared shipping hub, and if we need to, the depot. Um, our arm can also deposit our cabbing element with no additional changes required. This is all done thanks to our amazing grabber. Our grabber is mounted parallel to the ground while in pickup position, and this makes uh, intake easy and fast to accomplish. It can pick up all three types of freight, freight me, the wiffle balls, the ducks, and the blocks, uh, and put it on every level of the shipping hub. There's a stopper at the back to make sure that when we are picking up our freight, it stays in the right place so that when we are putting it into the shipping hub, um, there's an accurate drop-off position. Um, we can also do the same thing for our capping material so that we can get the bonus points for capping um, our custom capping material. Um, uh, there's a plate going across our robot to make sure that when we are dropping off or picking up freight that our arm is set in the right place to make sure that we have accurate um, pickup. And there's a high torque servo in order to give us firm grip whenever we're picking up um, our freight. Now, our robot may be pretty good, but it can't run without any prep, without any code. And Blue Crew is a legacy team, but we lack legacy coders. This proved to be a bit of a challenge so my strategy as a Nautilus coder started off by making the simplest autonomous IntelliOp that we can think of that can still score some decent points. Once that worked flawlessly, we expanded and slowly added more and more with new capabilities like strafing and spinning the carousel and more functionality, more like more reliable autonomous and giving drivers more uh, precise control over the IntelliOp. This allowed us to have a fallback code to use in case something stopped working it made it so that we had at the very least some working code to use. But however the code works, I'm very happy with the results and the skills I've learned along the way. And finally, our outreach. Because of the pandemic, we still have not been able to get as many outreach opportunities as we would have liked to. However, the opportunities that we did get, we, uh, we view as very important and we believe are very impactful to the communities that they take place in. We ran an uh, exhibit for multiple days at the Rockville Science Center called Rockville Science Day and many other special occasions. During these exhibits, we demonstrated the capabilities of both our current and old robots. Uh, the, uh, the team engaged with parents and aspiring young engineers and explained many different opportunities that they had to get them into the world of engineering. We are also uh, scheduled to host multiple first LEGO League qualifying tournaments in January. But to help these young aspiring engineers in their journey to be the best they can be, and to give back to the program that we enjoyed so much. Guys, I need help with a good ending here. Ka-chow.